Will this next pickup be my last? Tonight, frightened rideshare drivers across Chicago demanding more protection after another driver was murdered this week. Our Jermon Terry explains why they say the first step is fixing the app. Rideshare drivers are taking their concerns about safety a step further and requesting that lawmakers make it mandatory for companies to verify who's hopping in their cars. They're hoping that this will eliminate the targets that they believe criminals have on them. Unsettling nerves for rideshare drivers after Javier Ramos died after getting carjacked by his passenger and shot in the head this week. The murder highlights the ongoing worry for those who work for Uber and Lyft. I'm afraid for myself. I'm afraid for my friends. Lori Simmons is a driver and now organizer of the Chicago Gig Alliance. We would love to see some stronger uh, regulations around app security. Specifically, the two major rideshare app companies. Simmons tells me they've tried to get Lyft and Uber to make Make it mandatory that each customer using the app is verified with valid IDs. People right now can open an account on Uber or Lyft using a burner phone, using uh, not their real name. And with no luck from the companies, the drivers are now turning to lawmakers for safety. We've had meetings with the mayor's office before. Um, we are meeting with aldermen now um, to try and find out what would be the fastest and you know most uh, reasonable way to pass the legislation. What's going on here is unfair, and rideshare is just disincentivized from improving safety and it needs to change. Attorney Tim Tomasic has sued Uber and Lyft on behalf of customers. I stand behind the drivers in that regard, but gosh, if we can't start with the customers and consumers first, um, these multi-billion dollar companies are gonna keep doing what they're doing. He says many drivers don't realize they are independent contractors, not employees of the companies. Tomasic points out he's fighting ride shares to reveal the true crime stats happening over these apps. Until they are, are sued and brought into a court of law and the matter is fully litigated, they won't. A Lyft spokesperson says that safety is a fundamental priority of the company and says that they're always looking at ways to enhance safety for its drivers. In the loop, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.